I should do this. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joe and Osis. Today's the second episode, check out episode of God's Promises. And um, before we get into the promise, which I want to talk to you guys about, I've been talking about this with my friend and I've just been talking back and forth like my experience and all this stuff like I'm gonna start a new series and stuff like that so um honestly let's be real before I released that video I recorded as you can see my hair is changed okay so I recorded that video like a while back like let, we can even say last month like I said in that video I said the night before God told me talk about my promises and I recorded the day after and so I recorded my video finished and everything was done all I needed to do was edit the video all these excuses just came up to me like no you have this to do you have to go to this you have classes i always use my classes as an excuse oh you're tired you can't edit your video you can't post your video you're tired like all these excuses was just popping up in my head and i was wondering why can't i just edit the video and post it like why can't i just do it and so i was like sharing that with my friend i was telling her about that and she was like that is honestly the enemy messing with you like god gave you something to do like don't you see god gave you something to do and you were so excited to do it that you recorded the following day right so now suddenly you're not posting it like don't you think something is off there and she made me see that it was really the enemy that was messing with me and she told me that um there's a reason why god gives people instructions and let's say um tasks to do and for it to be done at that moment maybe in that moment you were gonna touch maybe 50 people's hearts or um, you know like there's a reason why God tells you to do something at a certain time and she was just advising me that like, once again if God tells me to do something I should do it right away and not delay she literally told me that it's the devil that honestly comes and confuses you it's the devil that gives you that excuses like that thought where you go like oh um maybe maybe i'm not meant for this like maybe maybe i'm not wise enough to do this or maybe i know little information about this let me just let me just back down like i'm not good for this you know like for example if god says your position you need to be a prison <laughs> I can't think of anything else so present so you go like no i know little information about politics i i'm not even a politician like i don't know i don't know much about the government i i don't you know all that um seeing yourself down and all that excuses and you know all that negativity basically negativity all that negativity that's that's from the enemy so she was like girl you need to post that video and i was like girl i'm gonna post that video you know why because you inspired me and i am so grateful i'm so grateful to have a friend like that you guys should pray so that god gives you good friends and good relationships and stuff like that okay so enough of that short story um i want to talk about when i was like when was this like way back way 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 back way back like let's say december last year or was it december before november i'm not sure exactly but it was last year to end of the year so my sister was going through so much during that time and she well, she was talking with me and i was like talking with her like encouraging her you know keeping her face strong and you know just like comforting her and all that stuff and so um i had a dream later on that night it wasn't a dream really because i remember everything like i had <laughs> i've had this encounter twice before this is where god directly spoke with me like he was holding me in i don't know like in his palms but it was so comfortable they were like blankets so 
in his palm so i don't know but i was like lying down like a baby in his arms like i was just like there like a baby in his arms and he looked at me and he told me this is so emotional honestly guys he told me from matthew 11 verse 28 let me show you the promise <clears throat> This is so emotional. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'll show, I'll show you guys later. <laughs> okay, so he held me and I was like lying down. Like, um, I remember like Betty's there and like, yeah. So he held me like in his palms, in his palms. And I'm lying like this, like, uh, okay. You can see like, mm. I'm lying like that, like, like a baby and i'm just like looking at him like i'm sleep i'm sleeping i'm sleeping i can i can feel myself sleeping but i'm awake like my spirit's awake like i'm talking to god he was like come to me all ye who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest he said that oh i like i just felt so warm i want to cry right now but no <laughs> I felt so warm like I felt so happy I felt so secure I felt so safe and I felt so happy I felt so oh I felt so good I was like mm, yes God I felt so good <clears throat> <clears throat> I felt so good like I was so happy and I woke up like immediately I woke up and it was it was the middle of the night but it was morning i don't know that day was weird <laughs> i was like i spoke to god i was like again wow i was like wow like god i know that i'm fine right now i know that i'm good right now i know that i'm happy right now and i'm secure right now but i know you did not necessarily mean that to me although it was to me it's for everybody it's in the bible it's for us all it's a promise he will give you rest but i knew that i had to pass this message to my sister and i told my sister and she was so happy and she was like thank you so much like you know you don't read the bible once guys you don't read the bible once the bible is not something you read once and it's not something you can finish you don't finish the bible because every single day that one chapter could come to you in so many different ways like that one chapter could portray itself in different ways every single day the bible is alive honestly the bible is alive it's walking it's, it's alive okay so even though my sister saw that verse many times before me telling her helped her remember that god god will give her rest if she just goes to him with her burdens and you know just just go to him you know rely on him god wants us to rely on him God wants us to just he he wants he's a he protects us he's a, he's our protector and he wants us to acknowledge that he wants us to acknowledge who he is and we and we should go to him we should come to him and we should just be a baby with him you know like just depend on him rely on him and do as he says and just walk I know I'm not perfect I know I'm not perfect but this should help us try to you know do everything God says I try to hear hear everything he says like oh I love I love the, the, the come to me all you who are um, um, um uh, who are weary and burdened uh, I will give you rest that, that Matthew Matthew 11 verse 28 I, I've, I've seen it before you know I've seen it before <laughs> it but the pastor would preach it before but it wouldn't really bother me because you know <laughs> I would be like mm okay okay good but now since i saw what he meant and since i felt how he gives rest like i don't even know how to explain it to you guys but since i felt how he will give me rest <laughs> that verse came to life like that verse is powerful to me and i just know that whenever i'm going through something 
you know whenever i'm going through something and i always tell this to my people like everything will be okay like i always tell this to anyone and when i say i don't mean everything will be okay because tv show because the movies always show us that everything will be okay no i'm saying everything will be okay because everything will be okay and god is talking through me when he when i say everything will be okay because i mean it i mean everything will be okay like just give your burdens to god give give your troubles to god lay down on him you know everything will be okay he can he will he, he's there for you if you don't know god if you don't know that he is humbling he is your father he is someone who protects and he, he guides and he's so powerful and so strong like he's mm. there are so many words that can describe god so many but i think there's not one word that is there's not one word that fully describes him as whole so that was my uh, experience that I had I'm so I'm so happy I am so at ease every single time I go through something I just remember Matthew 11 verse 28 so I just I'm just I'm just grateful for today's video I'm just grateful for God I'm just grateful that I got to know him from a very very young age and I'm I'm also just grateful to be on YouTube and to share this with my fellows viewers and subscribers and you speak of subscribers subscribe to my channel it's free click that subscribe button <laughs> so yeah you guys should honestly enjoy your day okay um remember today's promise enjoy your day have a gorgeous wonderful day and from the from the message earlier on if god gives you a task complete it do it immediately do it the time god wants you to do it do it immediately so completed and yeah so thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys have a gorgeous day honestly i hope you guys have a blessed gorgeous day and remember it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right <laughs>